All right, welcome to another edition of JTJU. I'm back from Ireland, and therefore you have a new Hero and Goat screencast, episode 18 up for you, from our war on 825 versus MVPs. They didn't play like MVPs, losing to us 107-93, so I think they need to do a gut check. But let's take a look and see if we can learn something from our best and worst attack in the war. And guiding us along, we got a little cranberries with Linger. A little Irish band for you. So as we switch to our hero, first thing that's interesting about his attack is his opening. It's not the usual pull the clan castle. No, my friends, it's Lunian attack against the AD buried because it's a straight path and he pulls it off. Very nice. Now notice the cut pathing down at 7 and 8, which allows his dragons, which then he deploys at 7, 30, 8 o'clock, to pound in, protecting his balloons, which then take out the remaining air defense just like that. And really, those three things make up the greatness of this attack. I mean, the... Uh, the, being able to identify that that AD up at 2 o'clock was probably, granted Tesla's might have been there, but probably a straight path for his loons, uh, and that that should be a snipe. Uh, that was a nice off-book type attack, not a standard dragon loon tack step. So that was pretty, and then the nice cut, and then followed by the protection and timing of the loons with the final attack. Those are all the things you want to see in a good dragon loon setup. But let's not torture ourselves watching these three dragons slowly chew their way around the base. Instead, let's go right to the reveal. Who is the hero? That's right, it swims. Good job, swims. And you can see there the other candidates that had pretty good three-star attacks as well in the war and some of the notes on what was interesting about them. But I'll let you read that on your own. Let's switch over now to the goat. So the goat's opening is the reason he's the goat. Now, as you look at this base, you can tell it's a max protect clan castle layout where the no defensive building is really very close to the edge of the clan castle trigger radius. And what's the problem here is he's not really getting commitment, right? He needs to be aware of that, hey, this is going to be a tough trigger. I'm, I'm assuming he's kind of do hogs here, and he should have done what he just did right here earlier for one, hogs with heal support, and two, Notice how he attacks at a point with that trigger where there's a ton of ways that that trigger team is going to get smacked down. And once you get smacked down, you don't get up. Because he lost over 25% of his army right there, and he still didn't even have the clan castle troops killed off. And he's going to have to do that over here with the witch and such. So at that point, really, versus Town Hall 9, he's got tons of spring traps he's got to deal with. He's got another big bomb set somewhere out there he's going to have to take out. This is a, the, the battle's already over. So again, I will not torture you with the final finale. I'm just going to cut to the goat. And in this case, it's Maximus Guy. Sorry, Maximus. And with the heroes, with the hero, you can see here the other goats that were in contention. And notice how a lot of them are the trigger is the problem. So the lesson learned? Have a plan to kill off those clan castle troops. <laughs> anyway, that will wrap it up for this war's review of Hero and Goat. Till next time, good luck in your upcoming wars. And as always... Clash on.